Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this series, we are going to create a complete tour management application. As you can see, we are going to create this dashboard where you can manage different properties. You can also list your properties and users will be able to make bookings onto your website. They will also be able to leave some reviews. There is an option for blog. Okay, so you can create blogs and also chat with the users. Okay, we are also going to create this dashboard in which you will be able to see all of the new bookings, stats and booking details. Apart from this, we also have our search page in which users will be able to select their de destiny. Okay, and they can enter their check in out details and cash details. Based on that, we will be able to show them some properties. Okay, and you can see we are also going to implement some filters map. So this is all everything that we are going to do inside this application. And one more thing, this application is going to be theme aware. That means we are going to implement light and dark theme and this will be completely responsive application. We are going to create both the front end and the back end part and you will be able to learn many things throughout this series. So if you are interested in learning all of these things, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like this video because it takes me a lot of effort to create this content for you guys that's it for the introduction now if you want to learn more then you can check out my website which is courses.codingmonk.in here we are actually providing a free trial of one week for just rupees 29 or one dollar for other countries you can see we are launching different tracks for front-end back-end and back-end advanced all the technologies that you will be learning are also listed here. It's a six month program and you will be able to get one week trial. You can go through the website and see if you are a good fit. Okay. Based on these things that I have mentioned here and you can get more details about myself over here on this website. Then you can also get to see the structure of this master class. Okay. How this program is structured. You can, go. You can apply for this program okay just by clicking on this button apply now you just need to pay a minimal fees of rupees 29 to participate in the trial week and after that you can enroll into the classes also please make sure to check the prerequisite for these master classes and all of the details can be found here if you have any more queries regarding this program then you can reach out to us using whatsapp okay you just need to click over here and you can send your query to us so let's now start with the creation of our tour management application so for this tour management app i'm going to use whitejs to create my react application so you just need to go to this link whitejs.dev and then click on the get started button after you click on this button then scroll down to this command npm create white at the rate latest just copy this okay and after that We'll be going to our terminal here. I have opened a terminal on my desktop and then I'll be just pasting that command over here. After that, you just need to press yes. Then write your project name. I'm going to write tour app. Select your framework, which is going to be react in this case and select JavaScript. Then we can move inside our application by writing this CD tour app and then will be installing the dependencies and one more thing this project is going to be made from scratch that means i'm not going to provide you any starter code in this case i'll be teaching each and everything from very basics so please make sure to watch this video till the end and if you like the video make sure to share it with your friends now after the dependencies are installed i am going to open it on my vs code editor you can use any code editor of your choice i am going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it clearly okay and then what we are going to do the first thing we need to do over here is to implement theming we are going to use material ui to create this application and for that let me give you an idea of how material ui is helpful in this we are using material ui because it comes with a lot of inbuilt components which can be easily customized they are going to save a lot of time for us and material ui is being used by many big corporations so it's a good idea to learn material ui to create enterprise level applications so that is why we are learning material ui in this series so the first thing we need to learn is how to do theming in our application for that you need to 
visit this link which i'll be dropping in the description box okay so you can re read more about theming i'll just give you a idea of what theme is going to do inside our application by using theme we can customize our application like we can choose different color palettes we can choose how to style our text okay spacing what will be the breakpoints we can also customize that transitions and we can even fine tune our components so that is theming so in this video we are first of all going to explore how to create a palette and what is actually a palette so if you click on this you will be able to read more about palette okay multiple colors for your application because whenever we create an application there will be multiple colors like primary one for error success and many more so, but in material UI there are some default colors that are already defined which are these primary secondary error warning info and success you can read what these colors are used for okay over here there is a very good definition about it in the documentation so you can read it let's now move inside our application so i'm going to go to my application source folder okay and then here i'm going to create a new folder and i'll call it theme now inside theme first thing that we are going to do is we're going to create a new file and this will be called palette okay so here I have named this palette.js then inside this we are going to actually define some colors for our application please pay attention because we are going to discuss a lot of useful things over here before creating theming we need to learn that we are going to need different shades of colors like if I am choosing blue color to be my primary color then I will also need its lighter version okay and I will also need its darker version so this is actually you can achieve that or you can basically generate those colors by using this website colors.eva.design okay i'll drop the link in the description box again so here as you can see let's say inside our application we want red color okay so we are going to choose a red color for our application as the primary color so i have copied a red color okay if i just paste it over here you can see this color generator has given me this 500 400 300 and various shades of this color and along with that the semantic colors are also updated so what i'm going to do now i'll be going inside the vs code okay this palette.js file then i'm going to do color setup so i'll just try it the first thing that we need to do is set up colors in our application let's create the primary color palette so for that we'll just write const primary is equal to this curly bracket and inside this object i'm going to create many key pair values okay so there will be many shades of color lighter light main dark darker okay so what will be the lighter color lighter color will be this 300 okay primary 300 that will be the lighter shade i'll just go back and paste that color over here okay similarly we are going to also write here light color there will be a mean color dark color and a darker color okay so let's now go back to our color generator and get this color so 400 is our light color again i'm going to paste it over here then main color is 500 so this main is 500 then our dark color is 600 and the darker that is 700 so this is how you create a good looking color palette okay this is our primary color then after this we are going to similarly create other color palettes and those will be secondary info success warning and error let me just change the names over here in prime in place of primary we'll have this secondary info like this okay and then warning and error now after we have renamed these colors okay we need to just update these colors as well okay 
in the similar way like we did in the primary so i'm just going to copy and paste that to speed up the process okay so here i have all these colors for my application i have shown you how to create different shades okay you just need to do it like this so for the secondary we have chosen this blue color okay to be our secondary color for info generally we take uh, any shade of blue okay that you can see this blue is different and then this one okay so that is our info color similarly we have a green color for success for warning we have yellow and for error we have a red color okay then after this we are also going to create gray color okay because this gray color palette will be used in many different places okay so let's just create it for gray we are going to actually define colors from 0 to 900 these will be different shades of gray color so for the zero we are going to have white color that will be fff fff okay then for the next shade will be 100 and that will be a little darker than this first one and for that color code is f9 f a f b here i am specifying what uh, i like okay you can actually choose any different color okay that is up to you what you specify in place of this hundred so now i'm just going to again copy and paste other shades okay and then i'll explain it to you so here we have other shades of gray color here you can see let's first understand zero to nine hundred these are just different shades of gray color you can see it's going from light to dark then we have different different opacity okay so here you can see we have this 500 which is actually falling in between okay from top and bottom it is the you can say it is in between of this light and this darkest color so for that mid color we are actually going to create different copies okay this 8 means 8% 8 opacity 12 means 12% 12 so here you can see all of these are multiples of 8 this is actually a convention that we follow okay to make our design look aesthetically pleasing and this alpha is actually a function which is going to come from material UI and this is actually going to just give us colors with different opacity okay and these values are in percentages so here what i'm going to do i'll just import that alpha from material UI for that you just need to write import alpha from and this is going to come from at the rate mui slash material slash styles and with that said let's actually install material ui because we haven't actually installed that dependency yet so i'm just going to open a new terminal over here then i'll be going back to my browser here in material ui i'll be clicking on get started and installation okay then after this you will find this command you can just copy it default installation command and go back to your vs code editor and paste it over now you just need to wait a few seconds for this dependency to be installed and in that time let's actually create a function which we are actually going to use in the next video to create gradient color okay so here i'm going to create this function and name it create gradient then we'll be just taking two colors as arguments color 1 and color 2 after taking this we are going to just return a linear gradient so for that i can just write here linear gradient and then here i just want linear gradient to flow from top to bottom so i'll just from top to bottom so i'll just write this to bottom and then i'll specify the two colors that we have that we are getting as arguments so color one and color two and here what i have done this back text this is called string interpolation because we wanted to write this javascript variable inside a string so that is why we have used this back tick in place of single tick okay so that is it for this video in the next video we are going to actually resume from this point okay we'll create some gradients and then 
we'll see how we can create different palettes for light and dark make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel share it with your friends that's it for this video thank you and i'll see you in the next one